Good morning. Welcome to the Scrap and Pallet Man channel. It's a little foggy out, but there's some stuff on the curb. I'm not even shutting the truck off. Craziness. It may be plastic. It's metal enough. This fog is thick. Can't even tell there's a huge grocery store right there. And the traffic light that just turned yellow. A reminder of my grandparents. They used to always line their outside trash with you know, with the liner. It's aluminum too. This might be a total bust. But that might be metal. Are you metal? Yes, big time. Like heavy. Heavy dude. Part of that? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Nice chairs. Probably leather. Probably. Aw. Yeah, it just looked a little interesting here. Like there was other things besides just trash. Hmm. Hmm. Crafty stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna save this for my girlfriend. She likes it craft stuff. Those electric cars are so silent. Should I save these for my little uh, work area? Yeah. All right. I'm not gonna dig through all that. I don't know why it looked like a samurai sword top. No, <laughs> that's a scrap hallucination. Wait a minute, there's a little bit of scrap here. Yes, 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 that's wood. Some nails. Every little bit counts. You know I'm a sucker for end tables. No way. I almost want them not to be nice. Yeah, <laughs> get in my truck. I mean, there's not even a question about that. Not even a question. Yeah. 
Yep, I already got a spot for them. Actually, they're they're going to replace some other end tables that I've gotten from the curb. Yeah, they smell like oak. I thought oak was heavier though. It has to be pine, but I like them. Wait a minute, I put that the thick side. Yeah, let's not wreck this one. Is it square? Yeah, it might be square. Well, I'll see you right now. Yep, they're square. Nice. Blocking two driveways? Is this scrap metal in a box? What? You are awesome. Sir, there's even copper in there. I'll bet that's stainless steel. Should I lift, look a gift horse in the mouth? No, it's not stainless. Still, yeah, let's put this in the front seat. I need to pick through it. Oh, look at the shells. Oh. Hmm. You're going with me? Hmm. Which other one? Yeah. Nice. They say the fog's supposed to be lifting. I don't see any lifting fog. I know we like 20 seconds of tranquility, but how about 14 seconds of fog? birds. The grass is getting greener. Computer? What might you be? No, you're a microwave. Oh, no way. Yeah, this ain't easy. Hmm. But, what if you use a little gravity assist here. Something else it worked. <laughs> I thought that was a battery. Right. Want this not sitting up. Morning. The eighth person that checked out this bag. Someone said, 
Check the pockets for hundred dollar bills. <laughs> okay. Hey. Not so bad. Hey, there's some scrap metal. Get into my truck. I think it's all metal. Are you all metal? Yeah, you are. Except for this stuff. We don't need this stuff. What? Those frames? No, it's, <laughs> it's packaging of some sort. Did you hit? See, that's the kind of stuff that hurts. <laughs> when you're pushing something heavy and all of a sudden it just catches on something. Mm. That's when my eyes turn white and I get angry. Wow. I think it's those, yeah, the piece of metal are jagged. Wait a minute. Is that a magnet? It has to be. Bruh. Seriously. How do you, maybe it's not a magnet. I don't know. I am such a knucklehead. I wasn't paying attention and I ATM some money this weekend and I forgot I had my my shop rent check was out there. I am this close to bouncing the check. I don't know if he's cashed it yet. So I'm gonna take the money that I ate in this weekend and go put it back in the bank. Yeah, I think it's gonna work out because I looked on my app and that nothing's bounced yet. Nine, eight, seven. <laughs> That's the timer for me bouncing the check. turn in some cash. I've not bounced a check in 10 years. This is not the time to start. All right, I think I made it just in time. I asked if anything had bounced, they said no. Um, so I think tonight or whenever they reconcile all of their banking stuff, I think I'll be in the clear. Ooh, that was a close one. All right, I think I'm gonna go to my house right now because I just wasted time and it, garbage man's been through everything. So I'm gonna go, wow, do you hear the black, the red-winged blackbird? That, that was a red-winged blackbird. Um, I'm gonna go to my house and I'm gonna put the big brown um, cabinet thing on the truck. It weighs like an ounce, <laughs> but it's really awkward. I'm gonna put that on the truck uh, and a, a couple of the pieces of scrap that I found over the weekend. This bicycle up here has been laying here for a few days. So I think it is scrap. <laughs> All the scrap bouncing around in the back. Yeah, maybe even a week. It's been spray painted pink. All right. Tires. <laughs> yeah, this is. 
I'm not even sure if this is a donatable. No, this is scrap. Scrapola. Yeah, I'm not feeling overly strong right now to throw it into the back of the truck. see what's going on here I closed this lid on that scrap right there yep that little piece right there go. Did it fall? Dude. Found it. See it in there? It's right in there. I'll have to fish it out later. Taking it to my house very fast. I want to see a microwave hang out. This is another big beefy one. All right, let's clip the cord. Because I'll forget. And then I'll be at the scrapyard like in the last video. And there's a there's a line. And I'm not gonna be just clipping cords while there's a big line. Ooh. I took the leash off. I could have drug it over. There's no garbage cans right here. Yeah, I want to get this big cabinet out of here. It was super windy yesterday. And man, I was just making that noise all day. Someone was saying that a lot of the so aluminum will start to corrode when there is lead introduced. That, that might be what that is. That sounds reasonable, plausible. All those words. Another microwave. That there first. <laughs> hey, those bugs are everywhere. Yep, they're super nice though. They don't cause problems. <sighs> I think I'm more irritating than they are. Yep, that is a box elder bug. birds yeah 
That's the noise I was hearing all day yesterday. Up and over, somehow, some way. It was pretty cool. I heard from my nephew. He's a he's becoming a, a submariner in uh, Groton, Connecticut. He's the one that graduated um, in August. Was it August, September, October? I don't remember. But. Uh, yeah, so he's in the middle of his Class A school. Hmm. Right there. There you go. You're not going to stay, are you? Hmm. All right, let's get a rope. I had someone ask me, hey, can you teach how to do these knots? I can, but it's way better if you get like a dedicated YouTube video, then uh, they like teach like the exact right way. Hey. So the way I do, so that's the standing end because you're standing on it. It's the working end. I just use my left hand. I make it kind of yeah, like that. Then you go with the rabbit comes out of the hole around the tree, which is the standing end. And then goes back down the hole. And that is the bowling knot. It's the king of all knots. Super easy to untie. The strongest, it will it'll always bind. It'll never slip. Just a quick clove hitch right here. You can always tell clove hitch because it just crosses both. And I'm just gonna drive, I don't know, a third of a mile to the scrapyard. Didn't get the camera turned on in time. It is packed in there. There are so many trucks backed up all crisscross. Yeah, it doesn't look like it from here, but that's mayhem over there on the left. Um, I'm gonna say not even 7,000 pounds. It's, it's really fluffy. I'd be happy if it was. Yeah, not even. Here we have 6,900, yeah, 6,900. All right, you ready for this? Ready for some chaos? Boom! Look at that. Yeah, I might be waiting for a while. I'm just gonna go over here. Don't mind me. Actually, I'm gonna be more out of the way. Because there's a couple big rigs and I'm not sure what they're up to. So. But you know what we can do? Let's just take a little tour. It's not a big tour, just a little tour. See what's going on in the scrapyard. So this guy's loading up. I'm not sure what this guy's doing. I do not want to go to the water. No. Woke up, loading all the 
room for the F-150 to get out the way. Yeah, those two trucks are still there. Yeah, see they're, um, they're dismantling stuff, which I think is not cool. You should do your micro scrapping in a place other than the scrapyard. But hey, that's my opinion. It's not right or wrong, per se. It's just my opinion. Wait. You know, I probably could walk all this scrap over there. I don't need to actually back up. Cool, man. Thank you. All right, I'm gonna back up right there. I better do it before this uh, big rig takes my spot right there. can without hitting anything. Okay, cool. Dude, this is this is threading the needle here. Ooh, there's a train right there. Yeah. You know what? I'm gonna walk over. Ooh. use their heavy machinery to push this stuff over.
trailer right there. I know this is aluminum breakage, but it's not much more than shred. We're good. All right. proper direction here. There's a line. A <laughs> big time line. <sighs> Laws of gross tonnage applies. Let the big boy go. He's not going to crash into that van, is he? No. I'm going to go all the way to the end and turn around. Oh, yeah, there's even more of a line. Please keep going. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we'll pick up this operation in the morning. Ah, just kidding. That's a problem. The, uh, the scale is stuck. It says 9,600 pounds and there's nothing on it. Okay, it just went to zero. There was literally nothing on it. Sixty-five forty. Hey, hey. All right. Yes, yeah, sixty. Sixty-six twenty. Well, what are we gonna? So sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine twenty. So not even three hundred pounds. You know what? I, I think that's probably correct. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's scrap. Wow, sweet. Thank you, sir. Oh, there it is. Yeah, we get all fourteen dollars. Twenty-six bones. <laughs> all right. Not bad. Cool. Thanks. I'll see you guys around. See you around. Yep. Uh, Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Ooh, busy, busy, busy. Thanks, God. Thank you for today. 
Thank you for a good mood. Yeah. God, I need I need your help with mood more than anything lately. Thank you for having me physically feel good. And today, thank you for having me emotionally feel good. And Lord, I'm gonna pray for anyone that is not feeling it today, emotionally, physically, that you step in and just be there and and heal. Heal us from the inside out in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Yeah, and price it is dropping. So $190 a ton. So almost 10 cents a pound. Uh, $26.60 for 280 pounds of scrap metal. Yeah. Thanks for hanging out with me. You are awesome. Just stay awesome. Be awesome. Do your thing. Be you. Very much. You're made specifically. I was made specifically to be me. And I'm doing it now. I'm being me. Be you. <laughs> A bunch of stuff I forgot. I forgot to take the uh, the good stuff out of here and throw the rest in the shred pile. But no, there's a. Uh, those are saw blades. Yeah, there's some copper and brass in there. I'm gonna wrap that up. But. I really want to do is get this out. It's a train. Uh oh. Let's sneak up on Olivia. Or if she's too asleep. I snuck up on Minion though. Hi, Mini Mans. What's going on? You good? So, those other tables are going to replace these darker tables that I got from the curb. Yep. Yeah, because that's just, it's just too dark. I mean, I know it kind of matches this, but I want it to match this. What do you think? Does it match? I know what a match is. You and a can of kitty food. You wanna eat some food? Do you wanna eat some food? Yeah? Okay, let's go eat some food. Hi, Olivia's. What's going on? How are you? Huh? How are the how are the sisters doing? You guys okay? Hmm? You guys doing good? You guys be nice to each other? Hmm? You're not hissing at her, are you? You're not, you're not giving her the boopy doops, are you? The bippity paps? Schmippity boops? You're so good, Olivia. I love you. I love you too, Minion. Oh, want some scritches? 